Well, let's get it started with our three pillars. Feel the balls of the feet. Get that. Feel your knees are unlocked and you're feeling your center of mass over the balls of the feet. And reach up with the crown of your head, tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. So an important part of this is the tail, the dragon's tail. So you're gonna feel that, you're gonna feel that tail. So let's start now by, by feeling into our tail as we, as we get into our central equilibrium. We're gonna be moving it around. So it's, we're not gonna stay in this place. We're just our, 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 our starting point. We're checking in. And then push away from the ground and then spiral down and turn. So we're releasing the quad, getting very relaxed there. Reach out with the elbows, opening up the shoulder joints. Point with the index finger, both sides, feel that energetic coherence. And then spread your fingers and feel your fingernails. The arms, the hands are, are, you can think if you put your hand on your head, that will give you the shape that you want there. Uh, that you want, you want to have a hollow there at the Lao Gong point in the palm of your hand. You're reaching with those fingers and this is activating the meridians in your fingers. There are also meridians in your toes that have their, their, their uh, terminals in the toes. We're not gonna talk about those today. We're just gonna be focusing on the, uh, the ones in your fingers. So we have, uh, so we have our three pillars. We have our central equilibrium, our energetic coherence and the, um, we've unkinked the hose by opening the jade pillow gate, opening the shoulders, releasing the quah. So we're un we've unkinked the hose and allowed the chi to flow. So you wanna feel the whole body integrated. We're not moving yet, but you wanna feel that integration as we get started. Now, one of the things about the uh, the chi, and you'll probably notice it in this. I'm trying going to try to take a, a nice, easy gradient. That is that when we bring our arms up and reach them out, you may get fatigued, and this is natural. This is something that comes with the fact that our meridians might have have not been. Uh, utilized to the degree that they they could have and particularly as we get older and so there's a tendency to get feel weaker in that but the 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 plus side is that the more you do this the stronger you get the more chi you get in your arms and the you're going to be able to do exercise like this a little more with uh, a little longer and a little more robustly but let's take it let's uh, so we're going to Going to feel the uh, uh, the uh, balls of the feet and reach with your wrists. And reach out with your fingers. Open up between your shoulder blades and sink into your heels, but maintain your central equilibrium. So you want to feel that space between your shoulder blades. You want to feel that reaching with your elbows. And the key here too is you don't want your elbows to go too wide. You want to keep it fairly narrow. So they're reaching forward. So your elbows are pretty much coming out you know, in front of your shoulders. 
So now I just want you to feel into your tail where your coccyx is, your tailbone, and very, just very gently, just kind of wag your tail almost invisibly, but just, just want to feel that, what that feels like to wag your tail. So what we're doing here, when we do that is we're, we're connecting up the governing vessel with the conception vessel and filling up the, those two channels. So you just want to get that sense of that. You want to have a connection with, between your shoulder blades, at the top of your shoulder blades, and also at the, uh, uh, just beside your sacrum, just above the, uh, above the coccyx. So you're getting that. So now, so then bring your arms down. And just notice what that little bit created in terms of chi. Feel the chi in your hands just from that little bit of, of, of activity. Sink into your heels and just kind of get into the yin part there for a moment. Now we're going to get young again. Go to the balls of your feet and arms come up. Reach out, open between your shoulder blades, feel your fingernails, feel your fingers, feel those, you're extending, reaching. And this time you're going to move slightly to your left and then into your right. So you get about maybe 70% of your weight in your right leg. Now sink and go into your left leg and just feel that, feel that back and forth there. You want to wag your tail as you do this. You're feeling your tail as you, as you move to the right, to the left, back to center. Sink into your left and then to the right. So you go left to go right. Go left and back to center. Now you're going to go left, go right. And this time you're going to circle with your with your right hip and then come down and circle with your left hip and circle back and pause. Feel the chi in your arms as those meridians are really getting, getting a workout. Cir circle with your right hip, circle with your left hip. You're wagging your tail. So 50% of all the actions have to do with the tail. So to wag the tail, circle with the hip, wag the tail, circle with the left hip, back to center. And then bring your hands down. You feel the activity in your arms. You're going to feel a whole lot of, uh, of circul blood circulation as well. You're going to get a lot of microcirculation where the blood is going to cells that are often under serviced by your circulatory system which can cause for health problems as well. We're also oxygenating the blood by doing this. So the, the blood that is being circulated is very, is at near capacity in terms of its ability to hold oxygen. And that has a tendency to 
counteract a lot of the pernicious influences in the body. And now you go into the balls of your feet, wrists, reach of the fingers open. And now we're going to wag the tail. So you sink into your left and then wag the tail, the right hip, you're reaching, you're wagging the tail to the right, you're reaching out with your right hand. So you're feeling from the, the spine to the scapula, to the shoulder, to the elbow, to the wrist, to the fingers. And notice what also is happening here. I'm, I'm reaching with my head to the left as I reach out with my right arm. And then come down, circle down, feel that tail. Now wag the tail to the left as you reach out with your left hand. So feel the spine, scapula, shoulder, elbow, wrists, fingers. So you're feeling that connection from the fingers all the way through the, the foot, all the way through the toes into the earth. And the head is opening. So we're creating this, this uh, uh, lengthening there of the meridians as we do that. And then we wag the tail back to center and ah. And then circle, wag the tail to the right. Right hand reaches forward. Head goes to the left. You're intently reaching out. You're a dragon, remember? If you're reaching out, you're going to grab something. And then wag the tail back to the left, back to the center. Wag the tail to the left. Reach your head to the left, to the right as you reach out with your left arm. Reaching. Spine to scapula to shoulder to elbow to wrist to fingers and then back to center. One more. So we circle right hand, head to the left. We feel those connections all the way through. Opening. And wag your tail back to center, to the left. Head goes to the right, reach out, open. And back to center. Now we're going to, left hand's going to go under, it's going to, reach out so your head's going to go, go to the right as your left hand reaches out, your right hand comes back, you're wagging your tail and back to center. Reaching under with your right hand, the head goes to the left. Reach out, wag the tail and back to center. Left hand. Wag the tail. One more left. Right. Back to center. Come down. Feel the chi. Feel the whole body filling up. Feel that connection, the whole body energetic connection.
feel yourself in your heels, but feel that center of equilibrium as you do that. You want to get very yin right now. Allow that energy to circulate on its own. Okay, now, balls of your feet, wrists, fingers open, fingernails open. We've been doing it very narrow with you. Now we're going to get wider. your left and then the right your head goes to the left your right hand goes out back wag your tail now reach out with your left hand it goes out wide and sink into your right leg and step with your left foot. You're reaching out. Sink into your left leg. You reach out. Head goes to the left. Right hand reaches out wide. Grasping. Left hand comes up. And then to sink into your right leg as you circle around. So we're wide circle, come back into your left. And then a smaller circle. As if you are the dragon, you're playing with a, a ball floating in the water. It's, you're pushing down on that ball. Step forward on the toe of your right foot, reach out. And then sink and hands come down. Okay, sink into your heels, feel the yin. Allow that energy to gather, allow that to circulate, allow that to fill up all the nooks and crannies that might get underutilized, underserviced by your energy on a normal basis. Feel it goes where it needs to go. It awakens parts of you that are dormant that are waiting to come out and express their full potential. Okay, last one. So this is balls of your feet, wrists, Fingers open between your shoulder blades, reaching out. It goes to the left, your tail wags, reaches out, right hand reaches out. Left hand reaches out, step with your left foot. Right hand reaches. 
left hand raises right the whole body turns your wide circle and then mm, pressing down on that ball mm, sink reaching up with that left hand as you're pressing down with your right Turn it circle to the right and then step up. Come in on the right toe, reaching out. And now. Circle with your left hand. Circle with your right. Step forward with your right foot. Reach. Left hand up, down. So your right hand is coming up. Your left hand pressing down, palm down. You sink into your left leg, big circle, right leg, small circle, press down on that ball, reach, sink. Feel that energetic connection. Circle and then step in on the toe of your left foot, reach. And then uh, sink into your heels. Feel that connection, that energetic connection. Circle with the right hand. Head goes to the left. Circle to the left hand. Head goes to the right. Heels and sink. Hands come down. Now we're gonna get very yin. Weights in the heels. Open the chest, open the shoulders. Open the throat. and rotate your palms. And now we eat. We invite the chi to come in and do whatever it needs to do to take us to the next level of where we wanna be. Just feel that, allow the energy to to circulate and do whatever it needs to do. We're eating the chi. Ah, rotate your hands. Step in. Take a deep breath. And sink. Press down. Dissolve into the emptiness. Think into your heels. Relax. Here we're going beyond yin and yang into the Wu Chi. The undifferentiated nothingness. 
moving toward the state of non-being. Letting go of attachment to stuff. creating space in our being. <clears throat> 